All right, so bust it out, dial indicator. I'm gonna move it one inch. That should give me 10 uh, rotations on there. Let's go back to our command. And we wanna go X positive. All right, so we're going back to MDI. X, I'm gonna go sideways key, I'm gonna scroll over. I want this to go slow. So let's go uh, 10 for a feed rate. X, all right, so I was just gonna make a mistake. We gotta zero out everything. Set all the zero. Uh, are you gonna go to zero? Maybe it won't let me do it while I'm in this command. All right. Set all to zero. Boom, went to zero. Okay, if I would've ran that command, it would've been trying to go to the machine coordinates of that and would've totally not been good. Oh, I gotta really think. No, <laughs> what they say, there's no such thing as a dumb machine. All right, let's go here. We're gonna change that to one. And our feed rate to 10. That should be nice and slow because as soon as I hit this button, I have to like literally go over here and start counting revolutions. So let's multitask this one. Oh. <laughs> All right. Yeah, we're off by that much. Let's try it again. Um. Go back to zero. But we have to bump it up for any backlash. So let's back it up a tiny bit. All right, let's bump it in. All right, let's really make sure this gauge is on here good. Zero it out. That's pretty good. <laughs> zero. Okay, we can run the same exact command. Not our zero. We're going up one. One inch. Okay, and after that, gotta hit cycle start. These are little things like this that even though I've seen some videos of people doing, uh, I don't know, to me, I, because I'm super, super new, like, I, I still don't even know what G1 is. I'm imagining some type of G code, uh, uh command, uh, but I, I had to figure it out. So, we're gonna go hit the green button, that's our confirmation. This is why a pendant would come in handy. Alright, so we're there, we already took up the backlash, let's hit it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ah, we are off a tiny bit. Okay, so there is a calculation, uh, an Excel spreadsheet that was from Marty's Garage that will allow you to go into the wizard and you, let's see, utility. So, we're going to go to the wizard down here and you punch in what you have in for your uh, settings and then how much it actually moved. So I believe it's in configuration. Okay, so you put in some of this basic information. I, uh, I'll see if I can link this because it's actually really important. Uh, so I'm going to go through and I'm going to re-punch in what numbers I have programmed in and exactly how far I went and it's going to give me a new number to put in. Then I can try the, this accuracy test again. So this is it for now. Uh, yeah. Okay, so this is my current turn ratio and this is my new corrected one so this is what I 
I'll start off from the start. So, commanded, distant, moved. I commanded at one inch, and I got point nine nine nine. And current programmed overall turns ratio, right there. That's what I have on my computer right now. I hit enter. This is the new number it's going to give me. So, I'm going to go program it in. See how it goes. All right, we're checking the backlash. So, I have not scooched it up. Have I scooched it up? Hmm. I don't think I did. Uh, all right. This is my command. I'm going to move it up and see if it moves. Here we go. We'll watch together. Nope, still at zero. And we moved it up that much. So now let's go. Same command. But we're moving up to 2000. All right, let's see. We're going to move it. Uh, might have moved. Golly. Might have moved just a tiny, 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 tiny bit. Let's move it back. No, that will. They won't do it. We'll move it up to three thousands. This is uh double ball nuts. All right, I gotta get really up in here. To see, I'm holding the camera and doing all this. All right, here we go. All right, so that was a definite move there. Let's go back and do it again. <laughs> all right, so we're gonna go negative. Golly, I need to get my hand over here. Going back to zero, but I wanna I wanna move it slow. So we're going back to the zero on X, feed rate of one. And we hit it. So that should have took out any of the backlashes in there, but we can and let's see, we are yeah, we're about right there. All right, so let's go run our commands again. It's a good thing about it remembering. All right, we're going there. One. All right, now we got hit cycle start. Seeing if it moves. Nope, didn't see nothing. All right, so now let's go two thousandths. Got to hit cycle start. <laughs> Alright, let's see if it moves. Right, let me zoom right in here. Yep. Alright, so it moved. So like Golly, that's a that's a tiny, tiny bit amount of backlash in there. I don't know if I should actually put Well, I guess it did move. Yeah. Alright, so we're gonna escape. We're gonna go to utility. Acorn Wizard and Configuration and let's see okay so here's a backlash that I have set in place for that I don't think that much what what I'm aiming for with all these tests is I'm trying to figure out moving the X back and forth why that drill bit was off from my spot bit. That's the whole thing of coming back in here and checking this stuff. Plus, I did not know the uh, how to command it to do the very, very small moves. I only knew the buttons. So, all right, so saving. Be sure to close and restart CNC for all changes to take effect. So sometimes you just have to exit CNC 12 and come right back. For some things, it will tell you to go ahead and restart the uh, your drive or your, your board. So I'd have to turn off my whole enclosure and get it reset so i'm going to keep playing with this 
hope these videos help people because this is some of the stuff that uh, I wanted to know. So even though I'm not a I'm not an expert by far, I think I'm kind of getting the grasp of things. All right, I think I finally got my X set up. Uh, <sighs> using my calculator here, which kind of fudged these numbers just a tiny bit. I went in between these. I think I went uh, 6.36500. And so I just ran one test and it went good. I got set up on zero. Any backlash is taken out. Let's go over to our green button and hit it. Oops, <laughs> gotta load in one inch. Now press cycle start, okay. Now, hit it! <laughs> uh, so, as you guys can tell, I'm figuring this out as I go. I mean, I've tried doing as much homework as I can, but, all right, boom, I'm gonna take it. I am gonna take it. Uh, I'm figuring this out as I go. I mean, I watched a shit ton of YouTube videos. Did not go on a lot of forums uh, because between Franco's uh, CNC YouTube page and Marty's CNC garage, I was able to pretty much pick up everything I needed. But it's just putting everything into effect, doing it yourself, that uh, I'm kind of documenting here. So um, I'm going to go. This is like... Big time for a beginner. I'm going to go in, you know, I'm going to load up everything I can. Because, you know, some people, like finding this spreadsheet, if you're watching my video, might be a little bit easier if I have a link for you to download from, rather than have to say, hey, go to Marty's video, go to his link, go download it, you know, that kind of thing. Uh, because this, uh, this right here really, really helps out. I was completely off on my numbers that I took from Franco's uh, uh, specs whenever he was saying, you know, what he put in. Uh, my numbers are completely different. So, that's it. This got one axie done. Let's, I, I plugged in the same numbers for my Y, but I definitely am going to go and set it up and see how it goes. And this is how I ended up doing the y-axis, which, uh, interesting, these are the numbers for my x, and these are the numbers for my y. So, I particularly thought that the numbers would be exactly the same, but I'm not going to argue <laughs> with the results. I'll, I double, triple checked them. Boop, boop. That's it. That's all I got. I gotta get some actual work done on other stuff. So, might have to do my Z later or another day. Alright. Let's see if the Z, if the third time's a charm. I uh, already ran this twice. And one interesting thing about this is. Each one of my X, Y, and Z are going to have different numbers. I just, I don't know, somewhat assumed that they would be the same numbers, uh, but they're not. All right, now I'm going to go back to zero, trying to uh, get it to where if I go down an inch and come back up an inch, that is dead on. It was just, all right, get it focused. It was just a tiny bit off, so I'm playing with the, I think it's in the backlash. So, yeah. That's a little, a little bit better. Eh, it might be what it was. I mean, it's close. Splitting hairs here, but trying to, trying to get it figured out. That's it. X, Y, and Z are done. Uh, let me come in here and I'm going to post my numbers, even though it looks like everyone's numbers are going to be different um and i suggest you just kind of go through what i did setting up your x y and z so get into the the wizard 
a lot of the videos online that some people are showing they're on the older CNC version, CNC 12 version. You know, when they pull up their screen, it doesn't look like this. So, these are the hybrid closed loop stepper motors set up with the lead shine knockoff drivers. It's kind of like that package you can get off eBay that comes with the closed loop stepper motors, the drivers, and the power supply. So, as you can see, I got all different numbers here for uh, for everything, and I'm I'm gonna data log everything. I just want to. Uh, well, this is in a way data logging. I slow down my Z a tiny bit whenever uh, <laughs> whenever I go to do some stuff. That thing goes it goes up quick. I'm like, wow, my X and Y don't even go around that fast. So I think that uh, this should be good enough. Hopefully. I'll keep playing with it, but that's that's all I got. I swear, this is the last one. Once I get this uh, backlash figured out, then I'm not messing with it anymore. But I would suggest doing monthly or some sort of uh, scheduled checks on this stuff. Something that, you know, is ball nuts wear or... Uh, just anything wears, you're going to want to adjust these numbers. I think I finally have my Z properly set up with the backlash. Oops. Come on. Go. Oh. oh. Okay, so this is going down one inch. Uh, going at five okay nice now when I was going back to zero I was getting off just a tiny just a hair and uh, ended up playing with the backlash and hopefully third time's charm again yeah it's close enough let's see yeah so I'm not sure how much is going to stay within tolerances, but uh, I'll take it.